Hello all together. There is some news from the Lego uh, train automation uh, front, uh, which I'd like to show you in this uh, small video. Uh, as I have written on my website matzobricks.com already, uh, is that uh, we're going away from end control as the software base for our automation projects. And uh, we've exchanged uh, that uh, with uh, some more professional software uh, called Rockrail. Rockrail is an open source software uh, which is uh, well coming from the scale model world like Merklin and Fleischmann stuff. Uh, and uh, we'd, uh, uh, we uh, liked to find out whether we can use it for our Lego train automation as well. Uh, what we uh, did is uh, just uh, set up a small uh, experimental test layout with uh, three blocks and three sensors. Uh, the sensors that you see here are uh, self-made, uh, uh, at, at least the controllers are self-made, and the sensors are from 40 bricks uh, or from Trix bricks. Uh, when you uh, close the sensor here, it will transmit a signal via Wi-Fi uh, to Rockrail. Uh, this here is only uh, a power cable, so that's no uh, data transmission at all. You could take the sensor with a controller unit, small battery pack, place it anywhere on the layout. You don't need cabling or anything. It's working autonomous. Um, what else uh, do we have? We have a uh, small section uh, with uh, some more controllers. It's um, here in that area. Uh, we've got one controller uh, with a little Lego house uh, for the switch and one controller for the light. Um, we uh, use that sometimes when the train goes around the uh, second track here and uh, once to overtake the other train. As I said, we have three blocks. The first block is on the outer track here, second block is here, third block is here. Three blocks and two trains. That's a lot of trains on the layout, of course, as you need uh, at least one block more than you have trains on the layouts. That's already the absolute maximum that you can place on such a small layout, but for experimental reasons uh, we could give it a try. So let's see if we can get those trains moving. So let's try to move the Emerald Express one block forward. And here it goes, it just hits hit the sensor uh, and um, the sensor reported to Rockrail that the train is now in the block, stopped uh, the train and released the other block. So that's free for the uh, uh, German crocodile which we have here. So let's move that forward, hitting the sensor stopping the train, everything was right. So, of course, it, it can be tiring to move each uh, train block by block over the layout, so uh, why don't we start the uh, automatic mode, uh, or uh, to be more particular, the aquarium mode. That is a modus where the train just searches for an empty block ahead, uh, and if it found one, it just uh, takes off and goes. So, in this case, there can only be one block ahead of one train, so it's not really dynamic what's happening here, but at least things are moving. So probably uh, yeah. 
we could try now if the switch is working. So why don't we let the emerald go to block one and overtake the uh, crocodile. So uh, we can try that by dragging the train from black uh, from block two to block one. Switch is turning, light is turning green, and the train goes. All the way until it is in block one. So, that was nice. Yeah, uh, basically uh, we have a proof of concept, uh, a new automation platform for our automated train projects. There's a lot of stuff that we still have to do. First of all, the sensors are not so reliable as uh, they should be. Um, especially they seem to be a little bit depending on the light situation, whether they have uh, contact or not. So there, uh, in this area we really need some improvement and some research to do. And then the second problem is our train controllers. We are still using the uh, controllers from 40 bricks. They are Wi-Fi controllers, uh, and uh, we have experienced a lot of stability problems uh, with those controllers as well. So, uh, lots of things to do, and uh, it's uh, gonna be exciting in the future. So make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, and uh, be updated about. Uh, new developments uh, here at Matsubrix. Thanks very much for watching.